The South China Sea is the largest marginal sea in the Western Pacific Ocean. It is bordered by China to the north, Taiwan to the northeast, the Philippines to the east, Indonesia and Brunei to the south, the Malay Peninsula to the southwest, and Vietnam to the west. The South China Sea is surrounded by numerous islands, archipelagos, peninsulas, straits, and choke points. Its geographical location is of great significance as it connects the Indian and Pacific Oceans, making it a vital shipping channel for major regional economies like China, Japan, and South Korea. More than half of the world's merchant navy and a third of the world's maritime traffic estimated to be over $5 trillion in trade, passes through the critical points of the South China Sea each year. Approximately two-thirds of South Korea's supplies, nearly 60% of Japan's and Taiwan's supplies, and 80% of China's crude oil imports pass through the South China Sea. Furthermore, the South China Sea plays a crucial role in the trade of liquefied natural gas, LNG. In 2016, Almost 40% of global LNG trade passed through this region. Countries like Qatar, Oman, UAE, Malaysia, Brunei, Australia, and Indonesia utilize South China's sea routes for their LNG imports. Japan, South Korea, China, and Taiwan are the top four major LNG importers in the region accounting for 94% of the total LNG volumes passing through the South China Sea. Japan is the largest importer, while China has suppressed South Korea to become the second largest. The South China Sea holds tremendous strategic significance for the international community, making it the most fiercely contested area in the world. Several literal states that border the sea have made maritime and island claims. Over the past few decades, the most serious disputes have arisen between China, Vietnam, and the Philippines. Among all the claimants, China has made expansive claims, asserting ownership of over 80% of the total area of the South China Sea. These claims are based on the Nine Dash Line, originally drawn by the Republic of China. China is constructing islands and strengthening its military presence in the South China Sea which clearly indicates its desire for control over the region. This development has raised concerns among neighboring countries and global powers. The significance of the South China Sea is not only defined by its major sea routes and trade, but also by its abundant natural resources. These resources include fish and, most importantly, hydrocarbon reserves. However, a large portion of these reserves remains untapped. Currently, there are 76 million tons of resources on land, which can last for just over 40 years. As a result, humans have started to exploit resources in other parts of the planet. Additionally, there are 70 million tons of resources on the seabed, which can provide an additional 40 years of supply before the resources on land are depleted. It has been proven that the South China Sea region is extremely rich in hydrocarbons, such as oil and gas. According to the study conducted by the U.S. Geological Survey in 2010, there is a 95% chance that there are at least 750 million barrels of oil under the South China Seabed. Some Chinese experts have also called the South China Sea as the Second Persian Gulf. These estimated reserves would not only help meet China's future fuel requirements, but also alleviate China's dependency on oil imports from the Gulf region through the critical narrow Malacca Strait, which is being monitored by China's major Asian rival, India.